Hi guys, today's video is the first video in a series of gaming videos and they're going to be gaming videos with a twist. Firstly, that's because I'm going to be playing them on my iPhone. And secondly, it's because they are games that are designed with the visually impaired in mind. That means they're audio based games and you can normally put on a pair of headphones and listen and you get 3D sound effects so that you can play the game. Either if you're blind or if you're just wanting a challenge, you can play it with your eyes closed. The best thing about these games is that they're accessible for everyone because there are also visual effects, which means that they can be played by sighted people too. I think the company who designed them did a really good job of making it accessible for everyone. It's a company from New Zealand. The app that they designed is called the Audio Game Hub. It contains, I think, 12 games, maybe 11. I'm not quite sure, I haven't counted. It's for iOS at least. There's also an Android version available. In the Android version, I believe there are only nine games available. Uh, so we're gonna play with the iOS version today and I'm gonna just open the app because that's what this video is all about, right? I've turned off voiceover because it has its own inbuilt version of voiceover. It works a little bit differently than what you're used to on your iPhone, but I'll show you that right now. So we're gonna open this app. At least if my finger works, we are. Turn the accessibility mode off. Use headphones for best sound experience. Royal Blind Foundation of New Zealand. Auckland University of Technology. The Ufana University, Lundberg. Sonar Interactive. to the audio game hub main menu page one of two play games so as you can see in here it's a really clear and easy app to understand the speech that is built into this is so it actually sounds very human i think it was probably indeed uh recorded in a, re in a recording studio by someone i don't think that um i don't think that this is computerized in any way at all uh, the app is also really easy to see because it's white text on a black background which for visually impaired people is mostly the way to go. If it's not the way to go and it's not how you want to, to look at the app, there is a way to change that. If you swipe from right to left with three fingers, I think, or was it four, or maybe two. Okay, left to right with two fingers, then you get an inverted mode. And you can now see, if you can see the screen, that it's white text on a black background. So, uh, what, whether visual, where visual things are concerned, it's really easy to see and re read. If I swipe again, there's also a blind mode and you can now see that there's nothing on the screen whatsoever. This is really useful if you are blind or severely visually impaired and you're sitting in a train or you're sitting at the park and you don't want people to look over your shoulder at what you're doing you can play this way so that you can have complete privacy or if you just if you're sighted and you just want the challenge of trying to play as a blind person this is also really fun to do um, for the benefit of the camera I'm going to put this back to normal mode if it lets me mode. there we go we're in graphics mode again so I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit and I'm going to show you how it works. Instead of scrolling up and uh, from left to right like you do with voiceover, with this app you have to um, scroll from the top downwards, so like you make a downwards movement with your finger and that's how you get through the menus. And to activate a specific item in the menu you double tap, so that's just the same as how voiceover works. We're going to turn that up and we're going to go through the menu a little bit. Tutorial. News. Tutorial. Play games. Tutorial. News. More games. Achievements. High scores. Uh, more. New. Tu play game. Settings. Play games. Games menu. Page one of two. Casino games. Casino games menu. You now have 98 coins. Blackjack. Slot machines. Black. 
settings. Return. Games menu. Bomb disarmor. Super Simon. Archery. Hunt. Samurai tournament. Page two of two. Samurai dojo. Labyrinth. Memory. Blocks. Animal escape. Cut. Runner. Coming. Animal escape. Coming soon. Runner. Coming soon. So, there's an idea of the games that are available in the app at the moment. I have just noticed for the first time that there are two in there which are not yet available, but that's completely okay, because there's more than enough fun in the app to go and play with. Today we're going to take a look at Blocks, and Blocks is a little bit like Tetris, only it's not quite like the original Tetris game, where you have three different coloured blocks coming down at once, and you have to place them and make it uh, disappear. There's only one coloured block at a time, and normally, as uh, the app has also said at the beginning, you play this with headphones because then you get the 3D sound effects and you know what you're doing even if you can't see the screen. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because I want you guys to get an idea of the fact that the different colours relate to different sounds on the screen. So I'm going to play with my ears and my eyes for as much as that's going to work. So we'll turn it up and we'll have a go at playing blocks today. Escape. Blocks. Blocks game menu. Start new game. Tutorial. Welcome to the Blocks, a good old 8-bit arcade game. Your task is to sort the boxes and put them in rows of three or more of the same kind so we can ship them to clients. Each box has a different barcode sound. Boxes will move towards you on the line. The tray is divided into four sections. However, there are five types of boxes, so you have to place them wisely. To change the position of a box, swipe your finger to the left or right. To place the box immediately on the tray, swipe your finger down. If you do your work well enough, the line will speed up. Let's see how good you are. As you can hear, I've got four different. I've had four different types of sounds so far, and I have to swipe them left and right, just as you do in Tetris, so that you can make rows of three or more. And once they're three or more, they disappear and they get shipped off to their clients. And it's a really fun game. I sat here playing it for about an hour yesterday, and at one point it got really fast and I couldn't keep up with it anymore, which is all also very awesome, of course. I'm trying to listen to the sounds here at the same time as talking to you guys. But yeah, it's a fun game, it's very addictive, it's also very easy to play. Uh, I like that the sounds and the colours are associated. I like that I can kind of... I have a little bit of vision and colours is one of the things that I'm still good at seeing. So I like that it's a really big and easy to see screen. And I like the commentary that goes with it as well, it makes it a little bit more fun, and that doesn't sound like it's the same block. <laughs> I love the commentary that comes with it as well, it makes it a little bit more fun and a little bit more interactive and easy to play. And what I like, this sounds like a completely different colour. 
What I like about it is that there's an objective to the game. In a lot of audio games that I've played, there isn't an objective. And there's a really good storyline. And you go through the storyline and you push buttons and it feels like there's nothing happening. In these games, there's an objective and it totally feels like I'm manipulating, I'm losing the game. <laughs> so that's something I really like about it. So I was going to show you guys what happens when you do this incorrectly. So let's go make a mess. to make a mess guys not get it good amazing you gathered 101 points your tray is full that's it for today come back tomorrow so that's basically the idea of the blocks game it's a fun game very similar to tetris it's very addictive it's really easy to pass the time away with it's also really easy to make a mess. The only thing I've noticed just now where we were trying to make a mess of it is that the, the comments, they stay positive. So if you're doing it wrong and you don't, don't see what you're doing, you're not aware that you're doing it incorrectly. So that's probably probably something that would be, would be handy to change. But for the rest, it's a really fun game. I really enjoy playing it. I'm really rather addicted to it. And uh, I like that I can do it with eyes or with my ears. If you'd like to know more about what we do besides YouTube, you can check out our website. Just go to www.justconnect.eu. If you'd like to follow us on social media and be the first to know when we upload a new video, my Twitter account is Wheelie Cody and Jessica's Twitter account is Hobo Photography. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next video, bye!